Hi, I'm Jason and welcome to this section of the Pre-Algebra Tutor. Here we're going to switch gears a little bit and talk about multiplying fractions together. Uh, a lot of students think that probably multiplication of fractions is really difficult compared to adding or subtracting them because sort of when you think back to, you know, second grade or whenever you learn how to multiply, uh, adding numbers, adding jelly beans, adding toothpicks seem pretty easy, but when you get to multiplication way back when you're young, uh, multiplication at first can seem a little bit weird or difficult if it's not introduced in the right way. So most people think that once you know how to add fractions, then multiplying them must be so much more difficult and dividing them must be incredibly difficult because division, long division of numbers is kind of a long process, okay? Well, I'm here to tell you that there's really good news and I wasn't kidding around. Multiplying fractions together is actually much easier than adding them together or subtracting them. And the main reason is because when you're dealing with addition and subtraction of fractions, you have to find that common denominator. And that common denominator, I hope, from the way I'm showing you to do it, is not a big deal, but it is an extra step. It is something you have to think about, and it's something that's not necessarily, you know, something that might seem easy at first. But when you're dealing with multiplying fractions and later division of fractions, you don't actually have to have any common denominator at all. It's just not even part of the equation. You don't even have to think about finding a common denominator. You don't even have to even worry about it. So really, common, the concept of finding a common denominator really only applies to adding and subtracting fractions. When you get to multiplication of fractions and division of fractions, there is no such thing. You don't even care about common denominator. You just multiply them, and I'm going to show you how to do that here. So what I want to show you is, I could just give you the technique and just show you how to do it, and I will here in a second, but I want you to kind of have an idea of what multiplying by a fraction does. If I ask you, uh, okay, I have a quarter of a pizza, I have a half of a pizza right now. Let's say that's what I have in front of me right now, one half of a pizza, or one half of a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, or one half of a candy bar, it doesn't matter. But imagine a pizza right in front of us here, a round pizza, and I have half of it. So I've cut this guy in half, and I have half of it and the other half is on the counter. Now if I ask you, what is one half of one half of that pizza? In other words, what if I take that half that I actually have right here in my hand and I multiply it by one half? In other words, I cut it in half again. That's what I'm doing. When I take something, could be anything, and I multiply it by one half, then I'm basically chopping it in half again and throwing away the other half of it and I'm only keeping half of whatever it was I had to begin with. So if I imagine half of this pizza right here, and I take half of this guy away, then I'm going to cut it in half again, and I'm going to be left with a quarter of a pizza, right? So basically, in terms of words, if you have one half of one half of a pizza, one half of one half of a pizza, then you know by thinking about it here in your head, without any math, you have a quarter of a pizza. Because if I start with a half, and I multiply that thing by a half, I'm only going to have a quarter of this pizza left. I'm going to have this little sliver over here, this one quarter of this pizza. Now in terms of math, when you start talking about this one half of one half of something, I'll have half of a pizza, that's what I started with, that's the half that I actually had to begin with, but I'm going to multiply this, this piece that I have by one half which means I'm basically taking what I had, which is a half of the pizza, and I'm multiplying by a half. I'm cutting it in half again. That's what I'm doing. So you can think of when you multiply by a fraction, you're really chopping down the original number that you had. What if I had four jelly beans? Four jelly beans in my hand. And I want to take half of that away. I multiply by a half. And you know that if you have four jelly beans and I take half of them away, I'm only going to